This video is a follow-up to the one where I made this artwork to hang over our bed and the frame turned out way too gold. So I have a solution. Now the name might raise some eyebrows, but I'm hoping Rub and Buff tones down the yellow in this gold. I ordered it in antique gold. Rub and Buff is a pigmented carnauba wax that you apply with either your finger or with a paintbrush. I'm gonna use a brush. Well, I'm gonna start with a brush. And then you buff it to make it shiny. The more you buff it, the shinier it is. So that's my hope. Now, before I do that part, I want to just darken everything a little bit with this antique wax. Now, it's called wax, but it's way more of just a glaze to me. It's actually like soupy. I hope I don't spill any, but it's soupy if you can see. I oh, probably can't see that. So I'm gonna apply that and I'm just gonna use a rag. With the antiquing wax glaze stuff. I love how it's turning out. It's turning out way better than I expected. If this is what it looked like originally, I would have probably just left it, but we have to use the rub and buff. I mean, come on, that's the whole reason I ordered it. So I'm gonna let this sit for an hour or two and then I will come back with my paintbrush and my tube of rub and buff. It's time to crack open the rub and buff. Ooh, it's definitely brownie. You can see it's much more brown than gold, which is super fantastic. and buff and it completely changed the look of the frame it's just a totally different gold color it's almost more bronze now I'm gonna let it sit here and rest and I don't know what wax has to do but I'm gonna let it do that and then I'm gonna take it downstairs and ask Ralph's opinion on whether it matches better I might just because I really like the look I might take some of that antiquing glaze wax stuff and just put it into the crevices because I just like that kind of dark look there I might do that but right now it's totally different and hopefully it's the right color so let's let it rest and I don't know let's go grab a coffee or something for the final touch I'm adding some antiquing into the grooves here I did a really good job, but what do you think? Personally, I'm really happy with it. I did do extra antiquing over the rub and buff, and now it matches so well with the artwork we hung over there in the collage. Now, rub and buff might have a weird name, but it's a great product and I really liked using it. I'm already trying to think of other things to use it on. And I really, really like that this room is finally done. And I would really, really like it if you would subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a like. Until the next time, thanks for watching. Bye. Let's do it once more. Forgot what I was gonna say next. Do it so many times and then just don't know what you're doing. Oh yeah, maybe I should put some gloves on. BRB. I think my gloves have a hole in them because my fingers soaking wet and I have 
antiquing stuff underneath. So I'm getting a brown nail. Well, it's kind of gross. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands.